what a beautiful day to take a walk around Shell Point. Hey, remember back in the day when you'd take a road trip in your car and uh, you'd stop at a gas station and you uh, fill up your tank, maybe a tenant would fill up, fill it up for you in those days, and then you'd walk inside, of course, to pay for your gas, and there'd be on the counter a rack. And in the rack, there'd be all these beautiful maps that were free. And uh, you'd pick out a map and uh, you could plan out your whole route, figure out how far it was to Cincinnati or whatever. Well, you know what? Shell Point now has a free map. Because we're here on the uh, perimeter walking path of Shell Point's island. And a lot of you know that it's a great place to walk. Well, we now have an official map of the walking trail on the island. And not only that, there are some alternate routes that are plotted out. And uh, along with the actual route, there's also uh, distances. Of course, the island perimeter route, a lot of you know it's a mile and a half, but these uh, shorter ones are also mapped out here. The inner circle around Serenity Cove, it's two tenths of a mile. The little shortcut between Royal Bonnet and Sundial, also two tenths of a mile. So you can keep track of your walking mileage, maybe keep a log. Well, not only do we have a cool walking trail on the island, we've got walking trails mapped out in all the other neighborhoods. Let's go take a look at another one. I'm here at the Woodlands, uh, across the water from the Woodlands Commons. And the Woodlands is just so beautiful. Amazing place to take a walk. And they've got, uh, of course, a route that goes around the whole property here, around the water, around the lakes, all around the Woodlands buildings, back around the arbor, through center court, and it meanders back through the ponds that are back in here, and all the way around for a total of 1.33 miles on the perimeter route. And a lot of it here, along this sidewalk across the lake, you get to walk right along the mangroves here and get to see the wildlife. There's probably gonna be some birds that you can spot. What a great thing. And if 1.33 miles is a little bit long, well, there's three additional shorter routes available. There's one here that goes along Woodsong, which is the main road through the woodlands and includes the lakes. That gives you one mile even. Or there's one that goes around Oakmont and Lakewood and you go across the little bridge here. That one's 0.66 miles. And then there's another one around Parkwood and the Arbor. That's exactly a half a mile several options for you. Try a different one every day. Let's see what else we've got. Here at Eagles Preserve, we have another perimeter route. It goes all the way around these beautiful Eagles Preserve buildings, takes along the uh, ponds here that are part of the golf course. You get to see the beautiful vistas of the golf course, both on the north side and the south side. And uh, in the middle, it kind of squeezes in and takes you across the pretty bridge that's along the main thoroughfare there that goes through Eagles Preserve. It's exactly one half mile around Eagles Preserve. Now we've got another little route here that's on this part of the map. It goes from the Slough Bridge coming over from the Woodlands to the Eagle Fountain at the entrance of Eagles Preserve. That's exactly two tenths of a mile. Now one thing to keep in mind if you do the path here in uh, Eagles Preserve is when you're on the south side of the buildings, the little walkway there uh, is actually parallel to the golf cart path in some places. You'll see them right next to each other. You wanna stay off that golf cart path. We don't wanna see you get run over by an eager foursome on their golf carts. Well, let's go see the next one. We're wrapping up our little walking tour here at the estuary, where the uh, path takes you right around the chapel area here at the entrance of the estuary, and then all the way through the entire neighborhood, both the, uh, the original part of the street here and this newly completed part around the south end of the, of the lake here. It's 0.83 miles all the way around. It takes you around the cove area by the swimming pool and gives you a really great walk. Now, if 0.83 miles is a little bit too far, you know there's a couple bridges across there you can take a shortcut so this is the estuary we've been over to the woodlands we've been around the island we've been around eagles preserve so many choices you might want to just get out there you know get to a neighborhood where you don't live take a look at the rest of shell point it's so great and where do you get this amazing piece of literature well just like in the old days on those road trips at the gas station they're free at the concierge desk near you so pick one up it's a nice thing and now it's maybe time to turn that television off, well, after our show is finished, of course, and get out and take a walk. It's good for your health, it's good for your soul. I think I'm gonna do a little walking myself.